Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. As you can see, I'm with my buddy Denson here today, and we're standing in front of Akuma and the Akuma Palette Change System, one of the most value-added products that Akuma offers. Let's talk about why and some of the significant differences that Akuma offers when it comes to this Palette Change System, because we all know we have to get into automation these days. Denson, let's talk about Akuma specifically and how this cell works and why it right. adds so much value to the customer. Right, so this is a pretty simple, it's a six pallet pool. Okuma does offer them in uh, greater pallet options, but this is the, the six pallet APC here. It's a standard product from Okuma. It's not something that requires a ton of retrofit, right? So even when you make the initial investment of a machine tool, you don't have to buy this right away. If you're trying to understand how a horizontal fits your product mix, how it fits your business, you know, maybe it's not smart or maybe you don't want to dive in head first to the pallet system. So we get used to the horizontal. Then a few months later, a year later, however long you want to wait, you can easily add the Okuma pallet system to your horizontal. It's not something that requires a bunch of retrofit and it's not crazy expensive, especially when you start talking automation. Um, you said it already and I'll say it again. It's one of the best value added products that Okuma offers. Again, the initial investment isn't all that high. Um, and then once you kind of figure out how it fits your product portfolio, it's a nice add. Uh, to benefit you, whether you're running, you know, high volume, low mix, or low mix, high volume, it's really a nice option to have. I have these guys have. It looks like they've got six pallets. They've got them set up with a looks like op 10, op 20. I've seen other customers that have all six pallets different. And then also you can set your priority. So if you want to only run pallets one, two, and three, and then four, five, and six run only if one, two, and three aren't being or have already been machined then you can easily call those up. The machine will handle all that. The programs are stored in there. As long as your tools are, are in the machine, uh, it, it'll run your products, however order, uh, whichever order that you want. Um, yeah. These are the, the significant differences uh, with pallet change systems, right? And you mentioned some of it. You said, you know, it looks like we have six of them here. Some people have op, you know, 10 through 60 sure. on a pallet change, and some people have six different programs right. and some of one run six of the same right. but run through the night so there's exactly. so many different options when it comes to pallet change yep. which ultimately aren't we just trying to keep that spindle turning and a pallet change system is perfect for that exactly exactly so what this allows you to do is maybe now you don't have to have an operator stand there and constantly load parts maybe every hour or two depending on your runtime or even longer than that they come over they cycle the pallet change around they take out finished parts and they put in raw parts, they let the machine know, hey, this is a raw part, and the machine takes care of the rest. And like I said, you can set your priority. So if you, if you do have a mix of parts or different ops in there, you can tell it which is the priority to run first. But also, let's don't get stuck in the mindset that it just has to be for big parts. We can tombstone, uh, we can put a tombstone on each of these pallets and fixture up a bunch of little parts. And then you really talk about your spindle utilization going through the roof with a bunch of small parts on a nice tombstone fixtured properly, uh, you can really see that spindle utilization go through the roof. Denson, that's a really valuable statement, but I kind of want to go back to our original conversation where you mentioned, I can buy this machine as a standalone. And then in the future, if I want to implement this pallet cell, I can, Correct. but it is completely related as a part of Akuma. Correct. I've seen situations out there where there's secondary companies that support pallet change, but it doesn't communicate very well, right. or I have to make the initial investment for all of it right up front, and you guys set yourselves apart in that sense. Yeah, absolutely. There are third-party uh, third integrators and third-party builders that build pallet changers that bolt up very nice to the Okuma system, so I don't want to discredit any of those guys, because they're very important, and if you're looking for a system with 200 pallets, that's who you go to because they're the best. But if you're looking for simple six, eight, 10, 12 pallet system, it comes from Okuma, it's built by Okuma, it's integrated by an Okuma tech. So it all comes from Okuma. And like you mentioned, you can add, very easily add this in the future. It's not something that requires a major retrofit to, to the machine or a custom factory built machine. Uh, if you want, if you have, uh, let's say, an MB4000, Okuma MB4000, and you want to add a six pallet pool, call up your distributor, tell them what you want to do, and it's an interface and the hardware, and that's it. You're not talking about months and, or weeks or crazy amounts of downtime. It's very simple, bolts up right next to the machine, and you're ready to go. Plug and play. Plug and play.
Well, my friends, thank you all for listening to Denson and I. When we talk about automation, keep in mind pallet pools, incredibly significant, allow you to run through the night, but also keep in mind all aspects of automation as we continue to reshore more and more, as we continue to battle against this skills gap that we're currently talking about or labor shortage, depending on what adjectives you'd like to use. Denson, thank you so much That's for sharing time. this. Keep up the great work at Akuma. Keep being a friend. You are incredible. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.